Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we are going to talk about Star Trek Discovery. And I know this is, I know this is uh, a bit of a old article because it's from 2018. Uh, and there's been this huge thing that's been talked about how in Star Trek Discovery Season 1 that uh, they stole ideas from uh, the, like the tardigrade thing from an actual game and there's a lawsuit and I, I've, been, I've been hearing about all of it but I didn't really know the details behind that like you know more you know give me more details as far as what were the similarities well I came across this article and haven't read it yet, so I think this might be interesting. Uh, there is a teaser trailer here for this game called Tardigrades. Anyway, CBS are being taken to court by video game developer who claims they plagiarized storylines and characters while creating Star Trek Discovery. Um, so yeah, this is, this is not news. Um, a lot of people um, know about this. Uh, Anas Abdin, the creator of the 2014 indie title Tardigrades, announced last week, okay, well, it wasn't last week, but <laughs> that he tried to prevent his dispute with the media company going to court, but felt he had no other choice. He claims that the show, which is a co-production between the American Broadcasting Company and streaming service Netflix, has stolen key characters and plot lines from his game series. After initially claiming the show had infringed his creative property last year, Anas has said that CBS have refused to engage in a dialogue with him and he had no choice but to take the matter to court. <clears throat> I tried to prevent this as much as possible, but CBS treated me in disrespect. That doesn't surprise me, actually. Considering how they've kind of turned their nose up at... Uh, fan films um anyway he explained exactly why he was attempting to sue the company and a blog and a post uh, which is right here let's take a look at that an, ast uh, an astronaut that's clever i like that tardigrades case i wanted to keep you updated regarding the tardigrades and star trek discovery post from october 18 2017 first of all one blah 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 um na, 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 na. okay well this is pretty much saying the same thing as this but anyhow um last 10 months were so hard on me and development of the project anyway look at this this is a side by side comparison of images from his game and images from Star Trek Discovery and it's uncanny of how close they are like look at these here it's very interesting how it just it looks very very similar I mean that's that's a lot more than a coincidence come on I mean if one or two characters that'd be one thing but the fact there's that many it's, I don't know, seems, uh, seems uh, plausible to me that they kind of stole the idea. Uh, I like, I like Stamets, by the way. Stamets is cool. But, I mean, there's uh, definitely a similarity between the two. Uh, but anyhow, he says the first conversation turned into the last one. I gave them a lot of time to make things right. Unfortunately, I found myself at a dead end with them, and so I had to enforce my rights by filing a lawsuit to treat me seriously. And he says that his claims revolve around the show supposedly stealing the idea that an alien tardigrade is the key to interstellar transport, and humans are exploring this through a scientific breakthrough. While he also claims a relationship between Paul Stamets and Hugh Colbert 
is more than similar to one explored in this 2014 game. I'm interested in getting this game, actually. Um, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's uh, pretty darn similar here. Uh, the video game was first announced in 2014 and then published uh, Green Lit for release on the Steam platform back in 2015. Um... I'm curious. Let's pull up Steam and let's take a look at that. Huh. saw some scenes in there that were a little inappropriate. Gee, that doesn't look like Samus. <laughs> Interesting. That's funny. There's a thing about Star Trek Discovery right there. Um, oh man, there's a lot of videos. Well, here's some screenshots. Is that is that a screenshot or is that a video? It looks like a video. But see the water is moving. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah, I, these are shots that I think they're showing in that video. This reminds me of those old uh, point-and-click games. Like Space Quest comes to mind, actually. Um, so, here's all the stuff about the game itself. Uh, there's some comments here. I'm sure there's, yeah... The resemblance between Star Trek Discovery, STD, and Tardigrades in more than one occasion is obvious. And for the case of plagiarism, it doesn't really matter if an idea has been released or published, although in some way it has been published to the public via Steam Greenlight. So, yeah, it looks... Well, I mean, the characters look pretty similar. I mean, the backdrops and stuff... Uh, don't but yeah it definitely looks like they they took some ideas uh, from that uh, and then there's the whole thing with Axonar uh, Axonar was doing the whole thing about the Klingon Federation war and they were shut down by CBS although I think Axonar is coming back uh, and they're doing like a two part um show, you know, uh, under their new rules for fan films. But they, yeah, they shut them down, and then, wouldn't you know, Star Trek Discovery has to do with the Klingon Federation War, and then it's got this whole Tardigrade thing uh, thrown in there. That's like two different types of storylines that are put together in one. So, I don't know. It Seems a little, uh, fishy. <laughs> now, as far as the show itself, um, it was better than what I thought it was going to be, uh, as far as Star Trek Discovery. And I don't want to go into detail about it right now, because I can save that for another episode. But, uh, uh, I will say that Season 2 is definitely an improvement over Season 1. But I've got to wonder, what ideas did they steal for Season 2? <laughs> Who knows? 
Anyway, um, let me know what you think about the whole situation uh, in the comments below. Do you like Star Trek Discovery? It's okay. It's okay if you like it. Um, I'm not like these other channels out there that puts out a video every day on how Star Trek Discovery or Doctor Who sucks. Uh, I'm not like that. So, you know, it's it's all honesty here. I'm not doing things to get views or because I don't monetize these videos. So, you know, I just keep it real, man. So, yeah, let me know what you think um, about this. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Eh, that's okay. You know, we all have a different opinion. So, and it's all welcome here. Uh, but anyways, uh, hope to see you uh, on the next rambling video, and be sure to subscribe so that way you know when a new rambling video comes out. Other than that, I will see you next time. <laughs>